Welcome to the Sprint One demo um, for the Stanford Libraries Access Team um, uh, work cycle. And we're excited to share with you our progress over the past week. So the first thing I wanna talk about is um, issue number 1074, uh, revisit options to deal with HTTP content. So uh, one thing that we've added now is we've added the ability um, to display um, thumbnails from uh, content providers uh, where they're only available through HTTP. Browsers have made changes to where they're, uh, in some browsers, they won't show mixed content on the page anymore, even if it comes from images. And so we now we've added a proxy to support uh, HTTP only images. Uh, here's an example of some being displayed on the page. Um, and we end up uh, seeing the thumbnail, proxying it back through, uh, through the application to display it. Uh, one thing to note about this is we will only display for these content providers who provide HTTP IIIF content, we will not display IIIF viewer for their content. We're only gonna display the thumbnail. We're not gonna be able to proxy all of their, all of their IIIF stuff, but we'll do it for a thumbnail for them. The next thing to uh, call out is that uh, we've made some changes um, to how the gallery display uh, view is shown. Previously, there was an issue where uh, the first item was missing um, when this page was showing here. And now we've updated it here. Um, so uh, this isn't happening anymore. So we've updated, actually, we went ahead and updated it in production because it was completely broken, um, but we've updated the ability to um, search uh, by uh, title or search by creator or con contributor. So this wasn't working previously, but now we can see um, that uh, I can do a title-based search and only uh, those uh, shown in the title um, are uh, provided back. Uh, if I choose everything, I might get some additional results as well. Um, and another uh, issue we resolved and uh, related is the improvement of Arabic search. So uh, previously this, uh, this search result would provide, um, uh, search for this term would provide incorrect results and we've now updated um, the configuration, so the Arabic fields are being searched as well. And with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Jesse. Thanks, Jack. Um, so I'd like to show a couple of uh, additional application changes uh, that we've made in this last sprint. Um, so one of the updates that we've made is we've uh, improved the display logic for multilingual metadata in the application. Um, now, uh, particularly when you switch uh, between different languages, so from English to Arabic or Arabic um, to English, uh, what we've done is we've updated the display so that when you are in the, the when the application is in uh, the Arabic uh, display, you will get the language codes that are tagged with a uh, hyphen A-R-A-B as the metadata fields uh, that are preferred. So the languages that are, are preferred in our metadata and then uh, any non uh, Ar Arabic tagged languages will be sorted uh, after. And by sorted, I mean, they will be preferred for if we have multiple pieces of metadata for the same field in multiple languages, uh, we'll prefer to show the Arabic in Arabic first and then the, uh, the non-Arabic versions. Uh, similarly, uh, when we are um, in English, uh, we will show the, uh, the language codes that are tagged with hyphen LATN for the Latinized versions. Uh, we will prefer those and then show um, the other versions after that. Uh, these are all um, settable in our settings.yaml file, uh, which I'll show here. Um, and just to also say that the, uh, the ordering of them uh, can be changed here uh, and can be configured here. So, um, and you can kind of see what I'm uh, mentioning with the language codes uh, that are tagged. So uh, again, in uh, when the, the application's in Arabic, 
uh, we will prefer the language codes uh, uh, tagged as such, and then in English uh, tagged with the Latinized form. Um, I'd also uh, like to show a change that we've made to um, uh, search results pages. Um, so for, um, for the application, uh, we now have our search results pages uh, now show up in increments of 12. Um, so as I select the per page dropdown, um, what you can see here is the options are now um, 12, 24, 48, and um, 96. And one of the benefits that this has uh, and this shows, particularly in the gallery view here, um, is now that when we have the page is now wide enough to show four across, um, uh, wide, we get um, four down because we're showing tw an, an increment of 12. So this fills out the page um, nicely, both in four across as well as three across. Um, we get the page, uh, the gallery view completely filled. So this, um, uh, this display now uh, works nicely like that. Um, and then the Final thing that I'm going to show today. Um, so uh, in the breadcrumb section on our record views, um, previously uh, we were not getting a, the title element as the last element of the breadcrumb. Um, this was uh, uh, primarily due to some uh, truncation that was happening here and the bi-directional nature of uh, some of the metadata titles. Um, so uh, the intention was to show on the, doc the document record view the um, the document title here. And I believe if I go to production, um, you would see, uh, I mean, not only does it, uh, um, uh, it would have the search results here if I was uh, in, had come from a search result context, but even so on this um, page, we should be getting the, uh, this title uh, as the last section of the breadcrumb. So we've now fixed that in the application. Uh, now I would like to uh, hand it off to Camille. Okay, uh, so next I'm gonna talk about an improvement we made. Um, I believe this is issue number 1028. Uh, previously, uh, there were two separate facets for uh, selecting a Gregorian date range and a separate facet for selecting a Hijri uh, date range. So after some initial user testing, we received some feedback that the, the separation was not very intuitive. So we've actually combined both uh, date range selections in the same facet here. So I'm currently in a Gregorian scheme. So I'm gonna switch to history here and it'll take a second to render, select my range and apply. You can see I'm in history and I can switch back over to, Gregor to Gregorian. All right, well, that's all we have. We'll see you next week. <laughs>